also started seriously considering running. I, I called the, the leader of the NDP, Kate White, who um, I've known for a while and is just someone who does really inspire me as a leader. And I went and talked to her and I left her, her house thinking, I want to be on her team. Like I, I believe in what she's doing and what she's, and I, and I want to be part of it. Um, so then I decided, I were, the, the writing I decided to run in had a, it was a contested nomination. So a few people wanted to run for the NDP there. So we did a nomination, a nomination race, which I thought was really great because I, it was kind of like a practice election. Um, so I got to, with a group of people who are pretty receptive because they're all NDP members, um, I got to practice talking about why I wanted to run and why I thought it was important to have um, people in politics who cared about things like the environment and cared about housing and cared about um, all, all those issues that matter to us so much. Um, so that was that was really really great experience for me. So when I um and, and I won that, and so then when I got to the election, I felt like I already I had a bit of a head start. I knew how to talk about the issues. I knew I'd gotten over that first fear of calling people. I think the hardest part for me is I um I like to be independent. I don't like to ask people for help for things, and 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 politics isn't something you can do by yourself, and it's not something you should do by yourself because it's all about community. Um, it's all about people working together to make it make things different and make um make our make the Yukon better for everyone. Um, so you can't do it by yourself. But I find it I always I'm always scared I'm inconveniencing people and I'm always scared I'm bothering them. So I spend a lot of time giving myself pep talks um, about before I call people and ask them things or knock on their doors and reach out. Thank you.